chateaus all have impressive grounds, but one's a destination specifically for its landscaping. For my favorite gardens in the Loire, it's got to be Villandry. Finished in 1536, Villandry was the last great Renaissance chateau built on the Loire. And all the attention here is on its grounds, arranged in elaborate geometric patterns and immaculately maintained. It's a hit with gardeners. Like so many chateaux around here, this was the pet project of a fabulously wealthy banker. Jean Le Breton worked for the French king, Francois Premier, in the early 1500s. Well-traveled Jean was inspired by Italian Renaissance gardens. So when he built his chateau, he created this. The 100,000 plants, half of which come from the family greenhouse, are replanted twice a year by 10 full-time gardeners. Posted charts and maps identify everything in English. The place is lovingly manicured. Stroll under the grapevine trellis, through a good-looking salad zone, and among Anjou pears. The earliest Loire gardens were practical, grown in the Middle Ages by abbey monks who needed vegetables and medicinal herbs. And those monks liked geometrical patterns. Later, Italian influence brought decorative ponds, arbors, and fountains. And harmonizing all the elements was an innovation of 16th century Loire Chateau. Today's beautiful gardens at Villandry, a careful reconstruction of what the 1530s original might have been, are the result of generations of passionate dedication. <laughs>